Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to use the Discord's latest feature, Timeouts. So basically a timeout is a system where you can restrict a member of a Discord server from talking or joining voice channels for a specific amount of time. For more information, you can click on the link in the description to read more about it from an official Discord post. If you haven't watched my previous tutorials, you actually need to set up the command handler, permission handler and things like that. So once again, head on into the description to check if you have already followed all of the required tutorials. Without further ado, let's get right into it. This feature is currently in the main branch of Discord.js because it has just recently been released. So in order to install it, we can just run npm i discord.js and dev. Besides Discord.js, we also need ms to convert strings aka words to milliseconds. So you can do that by doing npm i ms. Alright, so once you are done with that, we can just come into our folder can create a new folder called moderation and then we can just create a file called timeout.js we're going to start off by creating a command as usual so module.exports new command and this is from the class commands video you can find this video in the description if you want to learn more about it and then you can add a name timeout description timeout a member uh, options okay we're gonna need for options we're gonna need a user we're gonna need a length so this is the time of timeout I mean it should I should call it a length length of timeout and then lastly we're gonna need a reason all right so we can just I'll write our options based on this command. So the first one is going to be user description uh, member to perform the timeout on uh, type user and then required will be true. Next, we're going to do length. So name, oops, name length description will be length of timeout type will be string required true and then lastly you're gonna have our reason oops what am I doing uh, description will be reason for this timeout and then a uh, type will also be a string uh, and then it's gonna be a required argument Alright, so once we've done that, we can just create our run function. So run async interaction. And then we're going to grab all of our arguments right now. So let's just do const user interaction.options.get user since it's a user type. Alright, so we're just going to use get user. So if it's a string type, you're going to do get string. So get user and then we can just pass in the name. So this, make sure this matches uh, the name in here. Make sure this matches this. All right. And then next we're going to grab our length. Interaction options dot uh, get string length. Const reason. Okay. So our last one is going to be reason. It goes to interaction dot options dot get string reason perfect all right so in order to use a timeout on someone we got to do member so this is the member dot timeout something like that all right so since this user is a user and not a guild member we actually need to convert this user to a guild member so you can do that by doing uh, const member equals interaction dot guild uh, dot members no catch dot get uh, user id so this basically grabs the member from the guild that you ran the command in. All right, so now we can just run member dot timeout. As you can see here, it's a function. All right. So before that, we need to safeguard the uh, the length. So for example, people can actually use uh, like a random value instead of actual time. So you need to check for that. So in order to check for that, we must first convert the time into milliseconds. So const time in ms equals to ms length. So if it's an invalid 
uh, if it's an invalid argument, it's going to return undefined. So if it's undefined, time in MS is undefined, we can just do return interaction of follow up. Please specify uh, a valid time. Okay, so we can just safeguard that for now. All right, so after that, we can just run the timeout. So member the timeout. You can see here, it takes in the number, which is the uh, amount of milliseconds before it removes the timeout. And then the reason is what reason you want to do it for. So we can just do that. Uh, we can just replace timeout with time in MS. And the reason, we can just put in reason like this. Okay, so this reason is going to show up in the audit logs when you want to check for it. And then lastly, we can just do interaction dot follow up. Uh, user has, or we can actually do uh, user has been timeout. I don't know how, what's the past then for this, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, for And then the length. So this is basically how long this person is going to be timed out for. And then we can just add the reason with a parentheses. So reason like this. All right, so let's just test this out. All right, so I have both of my accounts here. So this is my main account, this is my out account. And as you can see here, I can now type anything because I'm not currently being timeout. So I can just run the command. So slash timeout, user recontest length. I'm just going to make it one minute. Reason will be testing. All right, so once the command is ran, MS is not defined. Oh, one more thing. You actually need to require MS, my bad. I forgot to do that. So const require ms like this at the top of the file and let's just rerun the bot again let's just copy the command and let's just run that again all right as you can see here recontest has been timed out for one minute and then the reason is already testing and as you can see here you can see that uh it has this uh clock symbol in here and when i go to my out account you have received a timeout in your tutorials and i can't join any voice channels or talk Okay, you can see the countdown is over in here. All right, so yeah, that should be it for today's video on timeout. I know it's a really short video and hope this video helped you guys. If you want to watch more Discord tutorials, stick to the end. You will see a playlist you can click on. All right, that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.